guys, welcome back. Uh, with all the new scale trucks I'm building, one might have thought I might have forgot about my roots of being the Clodbuster hero. Absolutely not. Always looking for Clodbuster stuff. Searching every day still. The vintage market for parts is crazier than ever. And there are a lot of people that are very much so into the vintage Clodbuster market now. And is making it very difficult to actually sometimes obtain some of the harder to find parts because everyone's going after them. So this particular truck recently popped up and this was actually a local find, which was huge because anyone that shipped a Clodbuster or something this size these days knows just how pricey and how expensive shipping has gotten. And that really adds a lot of cost to the, the trucks overall um, to just obtain them. So this particular truck happened to be part of a large lot that was for sale on Facebook market. And the guy had done like a sweeping video of like his collection in this one side room of his, of his home. And I immediately saw this one. And the thing that drew me to it instantly was that it has an APM uh, bow tie, you know, front bumper on there. And I was like, all right, this is right up my alley for vintage Claude stuff. I know more about this. So I hit the gentleman up, super nice guy. And I said, you know, I really wanted to buy just this one particular truck. He was really looking to sell his entire collection as a whole. Um, the stuff he had, this guy has, you know, gathered a amazing collection of really nice stuff. And even just like some newer age stuff, but everything he has is mint and clean and like perfect and really nice stuff. So I asked him, like, you know, I, I, you know, if I had that kind of money, I would consider buying the entire thing. Um, he had, you know, dozens and dozens of trucks, uh, Cloudbusters, TXTs, Juggernauts, a bunch of Traxxas, uh, like TRX high trail type stuff. Um, but this particular truck stood out. It was one I really wanted. So I asked him if he would sell it separately. And he did agree to do so. And he gave me a price that I almost, like, fell on the floor. I was like, what? So when I got there, he had told me that he had gave me the wrong price, but he was a man of his word and he honored the original price point for the truck, which was 400 bucks. Unbelievable. Um, as you can see, looking at the truck here from your perspe uh, perspective right now, um, just to clue you on a couple of things, it has full HESI machined aluminum gearboxes in it, Chatham CNC aluminum ladder bars, and then obviously a bunch of vintage goods and a super nice, um, you know, true fire paint job on it. So the truck was worth, I would have probably easily paid triple what his price was because the parts alone on it, uh, hundred percent make it worth it. Um, one of the things I did do though, it had jumbo size, um, tires and wheels on it. Uh, some like IMAX Bakla looking ones with, uh, chrome wheels. Not really big on the jumbo size stuff on the Cloudbuster. That particular set that was on here didn't actually look bad on the truck, but I have so many aluminum wheels uh, from Jacob at CNC RC Racing that I was like, nope, those are going. Set of Jacob wheels are going on. So these are actually the uh, JPS style like vet replicas that Jacob did. And he did a fantastic job on them. I uh, had a new and packaged set of IMEX uh, polar tires underneath the showcase here. So I got those mounted up. And really what I want to do is just finish this off with a couple of other nice pieces. I ordered some of the Minsu servo uh, twin tube lower bumper mounts to put on. And uh, I'll probably maybe find another vintage Goodyear or two to stick on. But tons of super rare parts on this thing. Let me bring you guys up close so you can see it and uh, we'll talk more about it. All right, so up close you can see this thing has a really nice true fire paint job on it. I'm not actually a huge into flame paint jobs. I think that they're kind of like old school, um, but I can always appreciate a well done paint job and it's definitely like a base coat, clear coat, automotive grade type of uh, paint on there. There's a couple of small little chips, nothing that I won't be able to touch up. You can see up close here, Jacob's wheels. He did an absolutely fantastic job with these. I actually was able to give him some input on the wheels, um, you know, as far as making them and designing them. He kind of referenced some of my opinions on that. And I always like to, you know, be, lend a helping hand with that. We were Their goal was to make them as close to the GPS 
uh, vet wheels without you know people then trying to pawn them off as JPS vet wheels down the road because there's a big difference in in price and uh, collectability in, in terms of that so we you know there are some slight differences but overall they're they're very very similar and have all the feels of the the vintage JPS wheels for sure so, so let's talk about some of the other vintage parts on this thing here so as you can see we've got the APM front bumper uh, the builder Scott Kandari he did a set of um, he was the one that actually built this truck originally he's got some of the uh, gearhead RPP hobby um, you know GTS styling uh, blackout covers on the headlights there and then something I thought was really cool that Scott did was he used the new age blower from the Cloudbuster, but then did a set of vintage APM stacks on it and I think that looks awesome the little fuelie stacks like that um, so yeah really 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 great job on that. Scott did a nice job on this truck, putting it together with the, the vintage parts and stuff. It's got the APM twin tube Nerf bars on it. Those are pretty highly sought after. It's got some CCP chrome uh, stays on the bottom there. And of course the Chatham CNC aluminum ladder bars and the Mike Hesse um, aluminum gearboxes and axle tubes. CCP shocks as well, uh, which Normally, I'm not a big fan of stock shocks on the Cloudbuster just because they were so terrible. But when they're chromed like that, they actually do look pretty damn good. So we'll probably just roll with those on there. They're fitting for the truck. They add contrast to go against that black body. Um, ESP twin tube rear bumper. And last but not least, an APM aluminum uh, bed insert. So yeah, overall, super cool truck. Absolutely insane killer price. I mean, you, you couldn't piece this truck together for what I paid for it and and I've had to shell out quite a bit of money over the years to get some vintage trucks and parts and things so it's nice every once in a while to catch a break and get something for a good deal um, and, and shout out to uh, to John for you know being a man of his word and, and sticking to that price point that was uh, that was that was awesome so yeah if you guys have any questions about this custom clod um, this is one that I'm going to continue to work on get some more details and stuff finished up on it you know, feel free to drop them in the comments below. If you aren't already, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the bell if you want notifications, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.